What if I told you that nearly 25% of healthcare spending in the United States is thrown straight into the garbage? And they dedicate an annual budget of $4 trillion, nearly double that of any other country in the world on a per person basis, and it's not even close. If that doesn't open your eyes to the egregious spending, how about 266 billion of that waste comes in the form of administrative complexities? In other words, mishandling bills and patient information. Or how about 166 billion and the misevaluation of symptoms and providing the wrong or unnecessary care? I'd say it's safe to generalize these eye-watering sums of money as inefficiencies. And if there's one thing we know for certain, it's that today there is one technology in particular that is pretty good at reducing inefficiency. Artificial intelligence has taken the world by storm and is turning into a staple of business efficiency. The cost to train large language models and build highly accurate predictive software is consistently dropping with each successive GPT release. Industries far and wide are leveraging AI's power, and healthcare is no different. Palantir's Foundry operating system has proven to be 95% accurate when predicting patient outcomes in Tampa General Hospital, one of the largest hospitals in America. Inefficiencies in the form of over or under scheduling staff, misallocating resources, or providing the wrong care will be greatly reduced. If you don't know Palantir already, I suggest getting to know them real soon, because they will most definitely be a household name in the AI space for years to come. Palantir has a mission of building data-driven operations and decision-making software. They started in the information-sensitive defense and intelligence industries, so working in national security contexts has certainly prepared them to keep patient information protected. Foundry is their operating system for modern enterprise. Tampa General Hospital has used Palantir's Foundry to reduce many of their key operating inefficiencies. For example, AI models are used to predict when exactly patients will recover and leave their hospital bed. This allows for better planning, up to 10 days in advance, leading to much improved efficiency and an accurate allocation of staffing and resources. Patients are able to get the care they need faster than ever before. The predictive models also provide future risk insight, warning hospital administrators about patient health issues that may be on the horizon, enabling a more proactive approach. After all, failure to adopt preventative care practices costs up to $111 billion per year. What makes Foundry in particular so effective is the way that their data is collected, analyzed, and distributed across the business. A standard data architecture usually looks something like a linear assembly line, one way in, one way out. Patient information is received and stored in a database, usually in the form of data lakes or data warehouses. The patient's information then undergoes a transformation to prepare for analytics, and the data is then neatly displayed in the form of tables, charts, reports, or dashboards for nurses, doctors, administrators, and other hospital employees to see. However, there is a problem here. Although this process is sufficient and has been for some time, it is quite inefficient. Tons of data all at your fingertips that is useful and important, but difficult to interact with in a meaningful way. This is where the power of human validated AI shines. Foundry transforms the standard assembly line architecture to an open loop, endless feedback system between the predictive model and human operators. Hospital staff can now relay their learnings and feedback to the model, and the model can then use this data to better inform business processes and decisions in the future. Think of it as a continuous learning cycle that produces custom workflows to increase efficiency and decrease response times. The platform learns based on your decisions and processes. This will better inform and train people to more easily recognize and prioritize important data. Foundry also powers simulations and what-if analyses to enable further proactivity before something unfortunate occurs in real time. No waste can be afforded when human health is at stake. And I want to reiterate that this is nothing to take away from frontline healthcare workers. They do the best that they can with the information they are given. Making decisions on the fly is not easy, especially when it relates to the well-being of a human. 
To break it all down, a lot of data is good. But for the human mind to process all of this data at once and prioritize it in a way that is efficient is pretty difficult. AI analyzes this data for you and provides next steps with priority, time, dosage, whatever information you need in plain English, all with increasingly reliable accuracy. But the best part is, as with any machine learning model, Foundry is constantly improving. It is designed to handle ever-evolving complexities. Healthcare is complicated, there's never a one-stop shop, and all human bodies are different. But with time and an open-loop system, considering the decisions of nurses, doctors, and other medical practitioners, the predictive model will only continue to improve. Unexpected events will become more predictable, scheduling will become more efficient, and decision-making will become more accurate. Foundry is compatible with the largest data center services out there, Azure, AWS, you name it. And as we mentioned, integrity and confidentiality of patient data is the last thing to worry about. Palantir has been working in high security context since the very beginning, and they've learned a thing or two from working in the government landscape. However, Palantir's Foundry isn't the only AI software making waves in the healthcare industry. Digital health startup Thymia has built an AI-based video game designed to provide faster and more accurate mental health assessments. This does sound ridiculous, but bear with me for a second. You get home from a long day of work, sit down in your gaming chair, put on a pair of headphones, and start gaming. While playing the video game, AI analyzes facial features, behavior in the game, and voice cues. It compares this data to a baseline assessment, playing games you enjoy, whatever that might be. The AI is able to identify the likelihood and potential severity of conditions like depression, anxiety, or ADHD. This whole process occurs remotely and in real time, so patients can better understand their conditions and associated triggers while actively being monitored. Changing gears to a bigger health company, Trillion Health, has introduced Similarity Index for hospitals. This index evaluates a hospital's operational performance in terms of various medical metrics like readmissions, mortality rates, etc. Trillion Health suggests that giving hospitals the ability to compare their own operations to benchmark hospitals that perform at a high level allows executives to more easily evaluate health systems that work and can therefore implement similar strategies in their own hospital. Cross-collaboration between businesses is absolutely essential to unlocking future growth. A research group out of Japan developed a robotic AI system that improves stem cell effectiveness in regenerative medicine. The system used rapid trial and error to determine the most optimal conditions for growing replacement retina layers necessary for vision. These are just a few examples of AI showing up in healthcare, but the possibilities are virtually endless. Considering healthcare already makes up an astounding 18.3% of total GDP in the US, and the United States population is steadily growing older, there is and always will be an inherent need for superior healthcare. AI technology combined with big data capabilities, regenerative biology breakthroughs, and robotic automation can and will answer the bell. I hope you enjoyed. Peace!